Welcome to the Tech Me Show. Today I'm going to teach you how to install VirtualBox. The reason I'm going to go ahead and teach you this is simply because in the next few tutorials we're going to be doing, which uh, we're going to teach you how to basically break into your network and uh, do a whole bunch of stuff, so look forward to that. Um, we just have to be very careful what we release. We don't want people to take the information and use it horribly bad, but just stick with us. It will be interesting. It will be fun. Uh, but we are totally doing this just, and I can't stress this enough, just to help you learn how to prevent these horrible things that could happen to you. Okay, so I went ahead and launched the application, and now we're being uh, given this basically intro dialogue with the welcome screen. Um, you can cancel, which I don't think you will, because otherwise that defeats the whole purpose of watching this uh, video. So we'll go ahead and select Next. Now, mind you, if you're downloading anything on the internet and whatnot, this is probably not the best time to install, because it does duplicate um, your adapter, your current active connection. Uh, that way, uh, VirtualBox can use it um, to basically have internet access. Now. Well, you know what, let's forget that. But again, do remember, don't do this while you have something downloading. Unless you use basically a resume uh, download manager. In my case, it would be Opera. Um, and uh, with Opera, basically you can uh, resume and not resume. But anyways, uh, so here we are. We're given some choices here. There's Python support. <laughs> I don't think you're going to need it, but you know what? we can go ahead and allow it because it is the default but basically everything here we do want to keep um, now sometimes these installers go a little cuckoo so let's go ahead and where it says VirtualBox application left click that and uh, select will be installed on I'm sorry entire feature go ahead and select that I know it sounds crazy even though basically everything should by default install I have seen problems before um, so now let's go ahead and select next and I don't like creating desktop icons and I do not like creating quick launch uh, bar icons so I'm gonna uncheck that but you're more than welcome to keep them and now let's go ahead and select next and here we are here is the warning I was uh, basically trying to alert you of um, because we do have an active connection it is alerting us that it will reset the network connection um, now this is okay because really you have no choice if you would like to use this program um, so go ahead and proceed now yes as long as you don't have some like ISO you're downloading and uh, it's humongous which I mentioned this because this is going to be part of our backtrack uh, tutorial this is going to be one of the videos that teach you how to install VirtualBox and we'll get into all of that great stuff so definitely look forward to that because I can't wait to show you guys how to break into your network and show you different tricks and whatnot to make sure people don't get into your computer it is the worst thing ever right so let's go ahead and select yes and let's go ahead now and select install and now this is going to take a moment this is not something that's very quick even if you have a super fast computer this can take some time so just bear with us and now it asks us because we have UAC uh, enabled um, I like to check the publisher's certificate make sure everything looks cool and it looks pretty good uh, so we'll go ahead and select OK select yes and now it needs to validate which is good and now it should go super quick which it appears it has and I know we're going to be talking about backtrack and whatnot, but while this is installing and copying and all that jazz, um, you could uh, dual boot your computer um, to go forth and have uh, uh, the ability when you start up in your master bootloader uh, to select Windows to normally uh, load or uh, backtrack and whatnot. But I like to keep it on a stick or on a uh, 
virtual uh, machine. Now, would you like to install this device software? Yes. It's going to go ahead and we're actually going to click Always Trust Software from Oracle. You don't have to, but I'm going to because really you have to anyways. Um, so let's go ahead and select Install. And now it's going to be installing the Oracle's uh, um, USB uh, driver. This way our uh, mouse or whatever you might have hooked up, whether it's a laptop or not. Um, in my case, I have a Microsoft uh, mouse hooked up to my laptop. Um which I also have screens connected to my laptop and what have you. But let's go ahead and wait now um, for this to continue. And as you see, it is installing quite a bit. but it should be nearing the end. Okay, there we go. I spoke too soon. Now, just because this is a tutorial, I'd like to show the end result. So we'll go ahead and select Finish. Give it a moment. And we've completed the Oracle uh, VirtualBox uh, Manager install. Um, and uh, to go ahead and create a new uh, virtual machine will be in our next video, so look for that. Again, thank you so much for watching our tutorials. We truly appreciate it. Um, and if you have any ideas, we'd love to hear about it. Um, you can contact us at uh, Twitter, uh, Tech Me Show, Google+. Plus. We're always there, and we could even hang out if you need help. Um, but we, if we do remotely help you, we will record your screen and our screen as well and make it really a double uh, inception uh, uh, video but if not um, at least we could just make a video tutorial on how we helped you nonetheless thank you so much for watching the tech me show please continue to watch uh, let your friends know uh, to go to youtube.com forward slash tech me show